What's going on you guys? Kenny here, also known as SilentFan85. Welcome to another how-to tutorial type video here on my channel. Uh, you are currently seeing Chroma Cam right now. I'm still working with this, but I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial um, about how to set a few things up. Maybe some things will help you. I hope they do. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, or dislike if you don't like the video. That happens too. Um, but again, bear with me. This setup is still new. I'm still working with um, getting everything right, the lighting and stuff like that. But uh, I am currently using a C920S uh, Chroma Cam. And, oh, C920S with Chroma Cam. Uh, the Chroma Cam software is new to me, but I am liking it so far. It's really nice. It's going to add another level to my streaming. But I got to get some things right. And a couple of tips before we get started here, before we jump into the software and give you a quick breakdown. I've had to do it with Streamlabs OBS, by the way. That's what I'm using. Not regular OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or slobs, as some people call it. Um, and I'll tell you why I use that. But a couple of things, a couple of key things. Contrast. Contrast in your clothing and your on your hat, headphones, if you use headphones. Um, that's, as you can see on my headphones right here, this is kind of where most of my problems are coming up. Uh, most of the other stuff here, aside from my chair in the background, which you can see kind of over my right shoulder right here. Um, most of the problems I'm having with Chroma Cam right now is in the headphone region. Uh, and I think it's because of the dark colors, maybe because of my hat, maybe the lighting. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm still working with that. But um, I, I've i been liking it. It's been really good. If I take the headphones off, it looks really good. Uh, and it's really, really impressive. But with that said, uh, contrast does matter. Color contrast. Do a little bit of research. Try to get your contrast right uh, with your physical colors and whatnot. And I think, you'll, I think Chroma Cam will work great for you. I should tell you, I'm not paid to say this. Um, I just try to give you guys some tutorials, some tips, and maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't, and we'll go from there. And with that said, I'm not a guru. If you do have questions, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, I'll answer what I can, but I'll, I'll at least try to direct you into the right uh, place to look to get this worked out. So, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump to the software real quick. We'll do a quick rundown, um, and we'll go from there. So, again, we're using slobs. Uh, we're going to look at the Chroma Game software, and we're going to look at the Logitech software as well. So, we're going to go live, and this is currently what my desktop looks like. It's kind of nice, right? It's a total mess. <laughs> Not really, actually. I've seen a lot, lot worse. But, now, as you can see, what we got here uh, is the Logitech software. Now, normally, this is called uh, Logitech Camera Settings. Normally, you would see the camera here. All you see is just arrows, zoom in, zoom out. Um, but basically what's happening here is that since I'm using Chroma Cam, it's somehow interfering with the Logitech settings. The settings still work. You can still modify them, but for some reason it doesn't show the camera. I'm not real sure why, but, uh, the Logitech settings is, uh, pretty awesome. The standard and widescreen, it doesn't seem to affect a whole lot, at least not on my part. You can still work with it. There is anti-flicker too. Uh, and again, you got up, down, left, right. You can recenter. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. The advanced settings, uh, you got your brightness, contrast, color intensity. Auto white balance and autofocus. I leave these on. Uh, I kind of question it when I first started messing with it. But I didn't really see a big difference in that. It may affect you, depending on how you set this up. But, uh, again, on my part, I didn't really see a big difference on that. So, you can mess with that if you want to and go from there. Uh, just keep in mind, these are going to be the base settings for the camera. Okay. If you want to modify the settings in uh, other software, like in Chroma Cam and OBS, keep in mind those are going to be after the fact settings. So they're not going to mess with the camera directly. They're just going to uh, mess with the um, camera, the, the application using the camera. So if your base settings for your camera are going to be here in the Logitech settings. So, uh, and again, this is uh, the C920 is brand new. Uh, this is brand new software to me as well, the camera settings. And. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. I, I really like it. It's basic, um, and it's it's pretty cool. So I, I definitely I definitely recommend that. So next up we have the actual Chroma software. Um, let me kind of zoom in here a little bit. If I can. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. So uh, this is the Chroma Cam. There are two settings to the Chroma Cam software. Okay, and, and again I have remember I have Pro. Uh, I don't have the trial on this, so some things may be different, and especially in a future update as of this recording. But there's classic, and then there's streamer, and this is this this will mess with your video as you switch between it. 
Um, this is, there's nothing going on right now, but you can add backgrounds. There is TwitchBot for the Twitch streamers out there. There's TwitchBot you can turn on. Your, your uh, viewers can type in a command, put backgrounds on. There's different backgrounds you can use, of course. You can, you know, select what you want, go from there. And this is the TwitchBot settings. Uh, it has an effect timer. You want to turn that on. Blue means it's on. Gray means it's off. Um, you, there's a list of commands you can use. Fast, Fire, Ghost, Illuminati, Kappa, Love, Lucky, so on and so forth. Again, this only works for Twitch. So if you're a multi-streamer like I am, or you stream on multiple platforms like YouTube, Twitch, and DLive, which is where I'm live every night, wink, wink. Well, not every night, but a couple of nights a week. There's a schedule down below if you want to check it out. I'm kind of a horrible streamer, but I love doing it, and I have a great community. So, But anyway, with that said, uh, these are your settings. Of course, you have language. You can choose between your cameras. I actually have three different cameras, but I only have the 920 plugged in right now. So that's the only one showing. You can show background. If you do that, it'll turn it off. That's what my background looks like. It's a little bit messy. Uh, there's also show effect drop. What show effect drop does, if you go back to TwitchBot, you go to effects, it shows the background with that color of the effect. So this is orange. It's a bit of a light blue. Um, and then if you go back to settings, turn that off, it turns it off and you're back to kind of a green screen effect. So, um, backlight correction, only certain uh, Logitech webcams, only certain Logitech webcams work with this. Um, it's a beta feature at the moment. So, depending on your camera, it may or may not work. I think it only worked with the 922 at this point, the Logitech C922. So, uh, this is of course your max FPS. Now keep in mind, I keep mine at a base base FPS of 15. So uh, if you go any higher, it's going to use more CPU. And that's another note of Chromacamp. Since this is a third-party application, it is going to use more CPU. So if you're if you're light on the CPU, if you have a standard CPU, it's not overclocked at all, or if if you don't have a high-end market CPU, such as a you know I would say base i5 or i7, anything below any of that, uh, it is going to tax your CPU, especially if you use slobs, Streamlabs OBS. Um, OBS on the counterpart is a little more basic, so it doesn't require a whole lot more CPU usage. But if you use slabs, keep that in mind. Chroma Cam is going to weigh down, not a whole lot, but it will add uh, some definite uses on your CPU. So, and then after that, you have the About. You can check for updates. You got their Help Center. You got different links to their um, links here. So that, that's Streamer Mode, Classic. Uh, classic, again, is you got different backgrounds you can choose to put on. Kind of cool uh, filters. You can kind of do what this does is it blurs out your background. You can modify the blur level in another setting. Uh, there's different slides you can use for presentations. It's kind of cool. Um, but we're going to go back to background use that. There is a logo. I don't use a logo. I think it's a little, I mean, not, not on the camera here. I do use a logo here on the channel, obviously. But um, I, don't, I don't tend to use this that much. But there is a logo anchor. There's an overlay. Uh, and there's also logo size. So, but again, I don't I don't use that. Settings, it's just like in streamer mode, except the only added option here is the blur level, which if you go high or low, um, the higher it is, the more CPU usage it's it's gonna have. Again, another note on that. Um, and so that's you know again that's pretty self-explanatory if you follow along. Uh, and again, just help. So. And that, that's the two modes of Chroma Cam. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, again, it's the first time I'm using Chroma Cam. It's the first time I'm using green screen removal software. Uh, a couple of years ago, I actually, I have an actual green screen. I just hardly ever set it up because it takes up so much room. And I can't, I'm not one of those streamers that can afford his own studio. So um, my, my room is my office, is my streaming studio. So, uh, but I think it's a good alternative. Again, I'm still working with it. It's doing good so far. I'm a bit of a, of a perfectionist, um, so you know the blotches here and there kind of messes with me a little bit. But I can get used to that. So if you don't have, if you have a more relaxed personality when it comes to your streaming, I think it'll work great for you. It's working good for me so far, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, so that's Chroma Cam. When, it, when we get to slobs, just a quick breakdown of slobs, real quick. This is what you're looking at on slobs. Um, this is editor mode on slobs. Okay. With Chroma Cam, when you first enable it on OBS or Slobs, um, you may need to restart both software. 
in order to get it to work because there's a little bit of a glitch when you first launch chroma cam but in order to get chroma cam to work with slobs all you need to do is you're going to go to your webcam settings in the sources go to properties and then you get different webcams i have a droid cam i used to use with an android it's pretty cool software but i haven't used it a whole lot there's elgato capture i use an elgato card that my community helped me get um and again i have the standard webcam which is a webcam c920 you can switch to that and it kind of shows you know this is just a setting i had or again you can go back to chroma cam and that's that's where it puts us right back here so um that's pretty much it i i leave everything as it is device default color space color range full buffering disabled um and see that's that's the logo uh chroma cam is going to reload it'll notice and i'm i'm i have the pro version and it'll take it off it's currently loading right now it it, it takes a minute <laughs> We gonna go okay a little bit of a hesitation there but it's at at this point that's really about the only thing I uh, I really kind of have problems with here on it but anyway with that said that's just a brief overview uh, I, hope, I hope hopefully this was helpful for some of you guys again I'm not a guru but post some questions and I'll try to help you I know the the um, I know it was a little long but uh, hopefully Again, maybe it answers some questions. I'm, I'm a pretty basic streamer for the most part. Uh, before this, I just used a, uh, my regular camera. I just had a background on it um, along with, you can see everything in the back. I tried to provide background and in some videos I still do that just because I think it's I think it's kind of cool. You can kind of see into my, my world a little bit, my office, and you can see my collection. I've got a big Charizard I usually keep in the back, so it's kind of cool. But anyway, again, I hope, this helped you guys, I hope this helped you guys out. You may also notice another quick note that just came to mind. There is a bit of a delay uh, in the video and the audio. So I'm going to apologize for that. I'm still working on it. But you will notice it because, again, Chroma Cam is a third-party application. It's picking up the source, um, bringing it to its own application, and then relaying it back to Slops because it's acting as its own camera. So um, that's, that's where you get that delay from. You can modify that um, with a render delay. Uh, at about a second ahead or second back depending uh, on how bad yours can be so it's just another tip but uh, anyway hopefully you found this uh, helpful uh, it's a, again a long video but I hope you enjoyed it be sure to like subscribe comment leave any questions down below uh, or and feel free to dislike if you didn't like the video maybe it wasn't informative for you it happens um, and I'll end it here so again thanks for watching remember you're awesome never let the world see otherwise and for now I will say salut see ya Oh, real quick note. If you're watching throughout the video and you're wondering about the red splotches on my skin, pointing it out, uh, it's psoriasis. Uh, a lot of, some people get curious about it, but it is psoriasis. It's something I've embraced. I've had it for a few years, more than a few years. But if you ever see anybody with this on there, you know, just again, just a note on it. It is psoriasis. Not much we can do about it until you can get treatment. Um, it mines off and on. But um, I thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about psoriasis, feel free to ask me. I try to spread news about it whenever I can. Okay? Again, thanks for watching. Remember, you're awesome. Never throw it to you otherwise. See ya.